Hi, my name is Arius, and I play Blades. Today, I would like to talk about how to reset your high block after you've used up your entire high block timer. The reason this move is very critical to competing in higher tier arenas is because knowing how to execute this move will also help you learn how to counter it when someone uses it against you. For those that aren't fully aware of what I'm talking about, let me quickly break it down. During a fight, when you execute a block, it will start out as a high block, which means if anyone initiates a regular attack, they will swing into your high block and get stunned. Most players are aware of this, so what they do to counter it is wait for the high block timer to run out. You know the timer has run out because it will drop from high block to a low block. The difference between the two blocks are that the low block will not stun anyone who swings into it. Now imagine, you're the player waiting for the other player's high block to drop, so you can execute a regular attack without getting stunned, only to find that you get stunned anyway. Sound familiar? The reason you get stunned after executing a regular attack when a high block drops is more than likely because your opponent is resetting their high block. It may seem complicated, but once you realize how it works, you'll also realize it's very easy to do. It will take some practice getting used to, but once you have a mastery of this move, you'll be more aware of opponents doing this to you and you'll be able to catch them off guard when they're not expecting it. So let's get down to how to execute the high block reset. First, here's a list of requirements to perform this move. Most importantly, you must have a shield equipped. This cannot be done without it. Second, you must have enough stamina in your pool to execute physical skills. Third, the opponent must be committed to performing a regular attack once they believe your shield will drop. If you can meet these simple three requirements, then I pretty much guarantee that you'll be able to stun your opponent with this advanced move. Here's how to do it. First, hold block. The timer will allow you to hold high block for a little less than three seconds, after which your block will drop and turn into a low block. As soon as this happens, immediately execute any one of your shield bash skills. Staggering bash is a great one to use while you are learning this technique because of its built-in stun at the end of the move. That way, if you mistime it, there's still a chance to stun your opponent. Now, you may be wondering why this resets your high block. For those that aren't aware, any of the shield skills begin with its own built-in high block then subsequently executes the skill. To the opponent, if this is done correctly on your end, they will see the shield drop, then they'll think it's safe to regular attack, and will be caught by the initial high block of your shield skill, ultimately getting stunned. You'll know that your opponent is doing this move against you because after their high block drops, you'll get the notification that their shield skill is being executed. If you see this before the regular attack is swung, swipe down to cancel the attack. Or you could just hold it until they complete the move. You may get hit, but it's better than getting stunned. Unless they're using Staggering Bash, then you'll have to block it. Either way, a block will also keep you from getting hit. If you're executing the technique yourself, a good trick to catch people off guard who know how to counter this is to let them hit your low block once or twice. Usually, that will make them feel safe enough to keep swinging, and that's when you execute the bash. I hope this helps you further understand how other warriors are resetting their high block to stun you. There are other ways to reset your high block, but perhaps I will cover those in another video. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Your support is always appreciated. Take care, my friends. I hope to see you in the arena. My name is Arius, and I play Blades. Cheers!